Ahmed ka mission in life is to build a space elevator. Ahmed, what's a space elevator? So a space elevator is essentially an elevator that goes into space. Uh, and the reason why I think it's uh, a very uh, a good way to go is that so the the reason why we don't have a proper infrastructure in space is because it costs too much to send infrastructure to space. That the per kilo cost of sending something to orbit is in the millions of dollars because you know the jet propulsion required to get, leave the Earth's gravity is is very high. Uh, so the way to do it very efficiently is to is to actually make the space station where all of this is happening in space already. So instead of send, shipping everything from Earth into space. Imagine if you could just already ship it from the outside of Earth's orbit into space directly. It would take way, way, way uh, less energy to do and, uh, uh, and, in, and in effect, uh, way less cost. So if you can build a space elevator, the way that it works is... Well, no. You know, so they, they use carbon nanotubes as the, um, as the cable. So these carbon nanotubes are, they say that like, a, like, a, like a, the, the width of a, of a hair made out of ca carbon nanotubes is enough to hold, you know, hundreds of tons of weight. Uh, and, uh, but the problem is we need to actually research more into carbon nanotubes and nanotechnology to make so much of it and, and to make like 14 miles of it. And not how many just miles is it? 14 miles. One four. One four. That's it? That's it. That's how, that's how, that's, uh, that's ex essentially how, how much you would need to get to get around the, uh, about, above, uh, the ozone. above, above the atmosphere essentially or, or outside of the orbit. That's I guess. it? Yeah, it's not that much. It might be, it might be like 25, actually I think it's 25 miles. Okay. So, something between 14 and 25, I'm forgetting the exact figure, but it's not that high. Um, wow. And, uh, and so you can use lasers to attract and repel, so this technology already works. Don't ask me how, how it works, but I know that it works. So you can use lasers to attract something or to deflect something. So if you put a laser on the top part of this elevator, which is attracting uh, uh, from a fixed point, it would actually move the elevator close to it. Uh, and if you can have the other side repelling the bottom from the bottom, you can move away from it. So they've already made one a product on a small scale version, and it can move uh, something like like nine miles an hour or fourteen miles an hour or some figure like that. That's that's how much it can it can do. So within a couple hours, you can already be in in, in orbit using this elevator. So you could it's use really this. Slow. It's slow, but what's a couple hours to get into space? I mean, it takes a couple hours to go from New York to, uh, to L.A., right? Okay. And uh, so if you, you can then start shipping industries and like big trucks and tractors and these big machinery. You can use the elevator to, to move those into orbit very, very cheaply. And then once they're already in orbit, just put them on the space shuttle. And you don't even, because there's no, gra because there's no gravity, because there's no atmosphere, there's no friction, you, can, you just need there's to have no like a... Fuel. There's no fuel. There's literally no fuel. You don't even need fuel. It's, you just need to have one thrust in the right direction and you'll essentially get there. And uh, that's the way I believe that we're going to actually colonize the rest of the solar system or, and, out and beyond. Um, they're, they're already working on uh, plasma engines. So plasma engines, so right now the current engines work on chemical, they're chemical engines. Uh, and they're very expensive, they take a lot of energy. Using a chemical so we'll engine... We'll do the next video on that one, but this okay. is an interesting idea. I mean, if you are, can help him, Mr. Ahmad, to make the space elevator, Facebook him on Ahmad, what's your last name? Iqbal. That's, uh, there's a lot of them, so... I think Ahmad.iqbal1, if you put that after facebook.com forward slash, you will get to my profile. Okay, so he's going to rename himself, hopefully today, to Ahmad Iqbal Spaceman, Spaceman. So that he can actually be the spaceman he wants okay. to be, right? <laughs>